there are three kinds of problems that occur over and over and over again involving exponential growth. We're going to go over the three types, and then we're going to do one problem of each type. So whenever you have an exponential growth, that is exponential growth, we have something changing in proportional to how much is already there, then the amount that you have at time t is a constant times e to the rt, and that constant is the amount you started with. Okay, well one kind of problem is that you know how much you started with, you know how fast it's growing, and you know how long it grew, and you want to know how much you wind up with after a certain amount of time. Second problem, you know how much you started with and how fast it's growing, and, you want to, and you've got a certain target amount, and you want to know how long does it take to reach that target amount. And the third problem, you know how much you started with and how long it took, and you know how much you ended with, and you want to figure out how fast it was growing. So we're going to work, work one problem of each type. The first one involves exponentials. The second and third involve logs. So a typical problem of the first type is this one. At noon, you have a colony of bacteria growing. Maybe it's growing in a Petri dish. Maybe it's growing in your lungs. But there are 1,000 bacteria, and they're growing at 2% per minute. By the way, bacteria can grow more like 3 or 4% per minute, but we'll assume that there's something slowing them down. So how many will there be an hour later? How many will there be five hours later? Well, this is straightforward. The number you have at time t is a e to the rt. And since we said they were growing at 2% per minute, r is 0.02 per minute. So we better measure our time in minutes. So one hour from now is 60 minutes. So it's 1,000 to the e to the 0.02 times 60. That's 1.2. And that works out to a little over 3,000, 3,320. After five hours, that's 300 minutes. Well, 300 times 0.02 is 6. So it's 1,000 times e to the 6. That's about 403,000 bacteria. So starting with a fairly small number, you could come back five hours later and wind up with a huge number. This is why you might go to bed feeling just fine and wake up in the morning feeling really sick. The bacteria in your in your lungs or your guts or wherever it is that you have an infection grew like crazy overnight. Okay, second problem. You invest $10,000 at something that returns 5% interest compounded continuously. When will you have $20,000? Okay, so again, you know that the amount of money you'll have after time t is a e to the rt. And you know that A was a 10,000 and R is 0.05 and you want to figure out T. So 20,000 is 10,000 E to the RT. Divide by 10,000, you get 2 is E to the RT. Well, now if you know E to the RT, how do you figure out RT? Well, this is exactly what logs are for. The natural log of E to the 0.05 T is 0.05 T. So the natural log of 2 must be 0.05t. And so t is the natural log of 2 divided by 0.05. Now the natural log of 2 happens to be pretty close to 0.7. And 0.7 divided by 0.05 is 14 years. Now this is that isn't exact. The natural log of 2 is really about 0.693. But for most purposes, approximating that to 0.7 is a really good approximation. And if you want to ask how long it takes to double, not just from 10,000 to 20,000, but maybe from 20 to 40 or 40 to 80, if you want the doubling time, you want to know when do you have twice what you started. So that means when is e to the rt equal to 2? rt is the natural log of 2. So the time it takes to double is always the natural log of 2 divided by r. And if you express these as percents, the natural log of 2 is about 70. The growth rate in percent is whatever it happens to be. And this problem was 5. So 70 divided by 5 is 14 years. This is called the law of 70. If you grow at 10% per year, it'll take you 7 years to double. If you grow at 7% per year, it'll take you 10 years to double. If you grow at 3.5% per year, it'll take you 20 years to double. 
the, the amount of time it takes to double is 70 divided by the growth rate in percent. Again, it's not exact, it's really 69.3, but 70 is pr a pretty good approximation. Okay. Finally, let's figure out how fast something was growing. Let's look at the cases of COVID-19 in the United States in March 2020. On March 8th, there were 541 cases, 541 confirmed cases, and we're gonna round that off to 540. 16 days later, there were just over 54,000 cases, and the numbers were pretty much growing exponentially. So during that time period, what was the growth rate R? What was the doubling time? So this is, and you know, and once you know the doubling time, you can ask how many cases would there be 16 days after March 24th and 16 days after April 9th? Okay, so if T is the time in days since March 8th, we have Y is five, A e to the RT, 540 e to the RT. So 54,000 is 540 e to the RT, and T is 16, it's 16 days. So 100 is e to the rt. Just like with the second kind of problem, we take the log of both sides. The natural log of 100 is rt. The only difference now, instead of solving for t by dividing by r, we solve for r by dividing by t. r is the natural log of 100 divided by 16, which is about 4.6 divided by 16, or 0.288. In other words, it was growing at about 29% per day, and if you want to know the doubling time, you use the law of 70. You take 70 divided by 29, or 0.7 divided by 0.29, and that was about 2.4 days. The number of cases was doubling every two to three days. Now, if that continued, we, we, we multiplied by 116 days, and another 16 days, we would have had 100 times that, we would have had 5.4 million. In another 16 days, we would have had 100 times that, we would have had 540 million. In another 16 days, we would have had 100 times that, which is 54 billion. Now that's obviously nonsense. This is more than the entire population of the United States. This is seven times the entire population of the world. And in fact, things didn't go that badly. In the middle of March, there were lockdowns to try to protect everybody. The growth slowed dramatically, and it wasn't nearly that bad, at least at first, but that's another story.